Bye, I'm. I don't Again, we were called to meet the IGP and go. We had discussion on security details, but at the end, day's end, our permit was denied. Relentless in our call, knowing full well that ours is a right guaranteed by the Constitution, we continued pushing for Occupy Westfield even as the odds stacked against us. The day after meeting the police chief, we were again ushered into another meeting, this time with the then Interior Minister, Mai Fadi. A long negotiation ensued for the postponement of the protest, cited again was security reasons. We considered and postponed acting as responsible and mature citizens of the land. The following week again, we met the minister but was cut short because he got called to an emergency meeting. We then rushed to the police headquarters where we had earlier in the day submitted a letter requesting security protection for our protest, slated for this Sunday, the 12th. We went through the screening process again, but this time around a clearance plus security protection was afforded for our protest. It was a joyous occasion for us all, for we felt the constitution has been honored, for this is what New Gambia should be about. It was a triumph and the news traveled fast. On Saturday, while we were busy preparing the logistics for the protest, a call came in from the office of the IGP. We have been summoned to a meeting once more. We got to the meeting only to be given excuses of counter demonstrations. The beach boys, they say too, are protesting at the beach in solidarity with us. This was one argument amongst many that they offered. It was a shifting argument of excuses from the security heads, a constant invention of boogeymen. Our clearance was then revoked. The revocation happened within 24 hours of the reception of the clearance. The excuses neither genuine nor firm were held on by the police in the denial of our constitutional rights. We remain firm and resolute in our resolve to exercise our right to assemble peacefully as guaranteed by Section 25 of the Constitution. The police continue to invoke Section 5 of the Public Order Act, which itself is unconstitutional and has been challenged in the Supreme Court of the Gambia. We won't cower down at the 11th hour and let draconian laws win over the Constitution. No. We stand in solidarity with the supreme law of the land and most of all our human right to guard in peace and protest. Yes, all power, power to the people. Yes, all power to the people. Yes. All power to the people. Yeah. So thank you very much. All um, power. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is this is um, at the press release from the Occupy Westfield team, knowing that our rights have been curtailed by the police, IGP and the government of the Gambia in exercising our constitutional right to gather and prevent our frustration. Yes. And um, in this regard, we have called the public to stay away, but as the coordinating team, we would not try to back down trying to um, uh, 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 let unconstitutionality reign again in New Gambia. Like I said in an interview, New Gambia shouldn't be a useless democratic aesthetic. It should be a lived reality. It should be a praxis. It should be out there and it should be real. Our human rights are guaranteed with or without these laws. And we continue to shoulder on and to say that New Gambia should be real, that our constitution should be respected. Yes. And we will not cower down. We remain resolute and firm. Yes. And knowing that power belongs to the masses of yes. the people. Thank you very much. Yeah, the power you. belongs to the masses of the people. And what we want to add on to that is we are young Gambians. We are all responsible citizens with responsibility. And we are practicing our constitutional right as Gambians. We are trying to defend the democracy that we fought for. The democracy that led to many people losing their lives. The democracy that led to people in the diaspora being in exile for 20 years. People like me for 20, two years. So at the end of the day, we are defending the democracy. 
is bigger than NOAC, it's bigger than all of what you believe. It's about defending the democracy that we fought for, power to the people. That's where it is. No, 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 no. We stand there, no, no. Again, no, 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 no. I've gathered here to show our concern. I mean, this was about NOAC, but again, we are saying in the denial of our permit, we have shifted the conversation from NOAC to defending the supremacy of the Constitution. We are peaceful people like Ace of Asadet, and we will remain peaceful. But again, we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't let um, this, 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 this uh, discussion and this discourse on peace keep us down, to, to cower us down, to make us um, a, a, fear, a fearful citizenry like what had happened for 22 long years. We appreciate the, the people for standing with us, for hearing us out, and we, 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 we urge the public to always remember that. This is a constitutional right. Let's not let the Constitution be trampled like it was done. 22 years ago. For 22 years we've been in this mess where the constitution is played on, it, it is trampled upon, it is not respected. Now when the government of the Gambia is not ready to respect the constitution, we are the people who, are, uh, who uphold the constitution as the supreme law of the land, will exercise it, will make it a reality in this new Gambia. All power to the people. She has something to say. I'm being put on the spot right now. Well, um, as you can see, my folks are here because we believe in something. And no matter what happens, we make, want to make sure that we stand for what we believe in. And we believe that the people have a right to peaceful assembly. They should not have to go down to a police station to get the person to approve their rights to stand and, and, and speak out for themselves. So what I'm saying is that this new Gambia, we're going to have to start making, making it happen now. If we keep doing exactly what we were doing six months ago, five, five years ago, or something like that, it will never change. We have to stand up and say that we want democracy or we, we want something di different. We don't want them to keep saying it is a democracy and there's nothing better that has changed. So from now on, we are going to make sure that we hold our government accountable. Yes. That we do not sit back and watch them do whatever they want with our rights. That we know what we deserve and we're going to go out and get it. Yes. That, is, that is what we are about. That is what we believe in. And we are Occupy Westfield. All power to the people. All power to the people. 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 To show solidarity with, with the Occupy Westfield on on December first, we government voted against tyranny and voted in their democracy. The hallmark of this democracy is our constitution, our Sacrosan constitution. This very constitution that gives us the right to, to assemble peacefully and freely. And this is what this Occupy is all about. Within with the context of the constitution, we are in full support of every government citizen's right to demonstrate peacefully. And that's why we're here. Thank you very much. Okay, let's just make it clear to the people out there that Occupy Westfield is not an enemy to the state, it's not an enemy to its people. We are normal Gambians, we are, we are normal individuals like any other person out there. We just want what's best for the Gambia, we want democracy in practice. We don't want it just laying down in the books or being said once in a while. We, want, we don't want it just to be theorists. We want it to be practical, like in science lab. We want to feel its physics. That's what we are all here for. Absolutely. There are pros and, there are pros and cons in democracy. And demonstrating or protesting peacefully is part of the democracy that we all fought for. Like, um, we, we cancelled this occupied Westfield twice. And today was the third time. Um, last week, egos and everything was put aside because we wanted peace to reign. The government said that um, there are um, security issues involved. There are security issues involved. But that was not the case as we can see. Because a political party that had over 100,000 supporters, we are occupying a place not far from here and we are given the security that's necessary.